Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, in this video I'm gonna check on another cooling method in the game that is gonna be the Wii Sport. Uh, for the sake of this video I've already prepared um, two little chambers here. Uh, these are identical in size, 7 times 3 as you can see. And we have a Wii Sport in each of those chambers. On the top chamber you can see the Wii Sword is in a farm tile and this one will count as a tamed Wii Sword. I've already set up this little auto sweeper and there's a little amount of phosphorite over here uh, because this one uh, provides you know, some materials to actually work. And in the bottom room I've also set up a wizard. it is on top of, the, of this insulated tile, I actually cheated it, but believe me it is operational. And this one will count as a wild wizard. And we're gonna compare uh, the cooling of both rooms, but before I get started I have to say that yeah, the setup in both rooms is not entirely fair, because there's more... Uh, thermal mass in the top room as you can see there's this chunk of phosph phosphoride and also the uh, auto sweeper will suck in some of the heat but even though it's a bit of a mess um, both uh, don't have a very high specific heat capacity so we are not yeah we are not too unfair here or this is not a too big deal actually and on the other side we're gonna add uh, hydrogen to the room at a very high mass which means uh, this one will yeah let's say outweigh the bit of inaccuracy in those rooms by a lot let's for the sake of this test use 100 kilograms and per tile 100 kilograms per tile and 50 degrees celsius add that to both rooms and yeah double check seems to be correct now I'm gonna unpause the game and let's see what the Wii's words do. As you can see from the tool drop tip they are consuming 250 grams per second of hydrogen and emitting it right back. Uh, now this part I think is not in the documentation but I know that from the game's wiki. Um, the hydrogen is emitted at 5 degrees lower than it was uh, sucked in at first. So we leave this running for a bit. As you can see, the rooms are already cooling down by a bit. Yeah. So we've lost one degree Celsius in this room with the wild wizard. It, the temperature has dropped to 49 almost everywhere. And in the top room, we. Yeah, the temperature lost a bit more, 1.5 degrees maybe, and that is exactly what we expected. This is a basic game uh, mechanic that uh, whenever you tame a plant, you will receive more of its rewards. In this case, you will receive more uh, cooling from the wizard. Uh, let's talk a bit more about the gases uh, you should use here. Uh, you should make use well, you should use a gas which actually provides a high specific heat capacity. Uh, hydrogen is quite good for that because it has a yeah, specific heat capacity of 2.4, and also it stays in a liquid, uh, no, in a gas form for yeah very long time until minus 252 degrees. We will actually never reach this temperature because the resort is only operational from minus 60 to 95 degrees Celsius. So whenever this temperature uh, has been reached, uh, the resort will not work. Now for your base, what's the conclusion? Which cooling should you, you should you use? Uh, well, for early game. Uh, I can recommend using a Wii's word for cooling your base because there's no alter alternatives available. Uh, this one all yeah, provides a, a little amount of cooling. Actually, even the thermal regulator, once you have it, uh, provides about three times the cooling of one Wii's word, of one tamed Wii's word, actually. So, yeah, there's no point in using the Wii's word in the later game. 
Also, I would like to stress one other point, and that is you're basically feeding phosphorite to the system and you al also feed duplicate labor to this uh, system or yeah, some automation and shipping. And you actually receive no energy back and that is physically very inaccurate or at least it couldn't happen in reality according to what we humans know about physics. Uh, so basically the only thing you get from this is cooling down of the environment which is a loss of energy and you receive nothing back and therefore I wouldn't recommend using it in the late game because you always want something or systems where you can actually create energy from nothing instead of just wasting energy and receive nothing back. So in the late game you should always uh, use thermal aqua tuners. Okay guys, I think I have covered the most important parts in this video. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. Also, I would appreciate if you consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks and goodbye.